wave bounce and he has the best aerial mobility in the game he abs i i i i don't i don't think it i don't you, know you if there's might, a character you might not better. be wrong you might not be like wrong. zero also. suit does have down b yes but like even then uh i think that zero suit would be the other contention for yeah i, I was about to say zero suit zero suit um kick kick flip okay so all right but we're getting into this game and <clears throat> Yeah, so we're seeing these eggs coming out from Slade, and those eggs are super duper important. But um, in neutral, they're a little bit tricky because as you see, they pop him up a huge amount, uh, meaning that he ends up in a, being kind of diagonally above Rob, which is not the worst place. That was so cute. Um, not the worst place in the world, but definitely a tricky place to be in when it comes to neutral. Yeah. Um, oof. So, I mean, so what, do you, so what do you think about this matchup as a whole? Okay. Um, I honestly think this matchup is very doable, very solid for Yoshi. Getting kills can kind of be tricky, but Yoshi can kind of mess with Rob off stage. Uh, you know, he's not that scared to go out there and at least try some things. Especially because, you know, for instance, if Rob tries, like, if he goes too deep and Rob tries to up air, he just armors through up air. Um... Like, armor is a big part of this matchup. And, oh, fantastic read on the roll. Just having all of this pressure really paying off. Fantastic DI right there. And Yoshi being surprisingly heavy. He is going to survive that. Meaning that he can now try and get even more damage dished out. Yeah, who knew dinosaurs would be heavy? But, um... <laughs> yo, and, yo, Moosh, thanks for the follow, man. Um... But, yeah, right now, um... You know, Slade's staying alive, um, holding on to his stock right now, and and Joshman, uh, Joshman is not closing the stock out. He got a down throw and the up smash. Yep. Yeah, Shay, uh, Slade tried to delay his mash. Jo Joshman punching a fourth. Yeah, and you notice that there are a couple moves that like that are working out really well for Slade in neutral. But one of them is the down air. Rob being this big, uh, big hurt box. And also, if you down air, uh, I believe you don't get hit by down tilt uh, because you're jumping above it. Granted, down tilt hitbox is pretty solid, so I could be a little bit wrong about that. As you saw, just armor straight through the up air and the gyro. So a lot of these things that, you know, Rob can just sort of do, get away with, you know, one of his big ways of punishing and extending his advantage just don't work on this character. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, I'll say this though, uh, one thing that doesn't work I would say well against Rob that, you know, I, I've i seen probably Yoshi do a lot. It's like they, they have to throw themselves into people and Rob standing there and like, you know, up tilting you, right? It, it, a lot of these stocks and a lot of these big percentages that Jackson has been getting has been coming off of a up tilt air to air off of a play commitment. But with that being said, Slade's still keeping it close with the back of the ledge. Taking that stock. All right, finally, those that down tilt pressure manages to uh, get a little bit of damage. And maybe we're seeing some stabilization from uh, Joshathan as he's, okay, once again, armor's out of it. Uh, but it seems like he's starting to find a more effective neutral game plan. Uh, yeah, dodging these, um, dodging these down airs, dodging the moves that we're getting, slayed a lot of mileage at the beginning of this game. And good DI on that, but he's at 125% and has only dished out 15 on uh, Rob. He armors through that. Oh, that was... You, so in that situation, uh, if you have to air dodge to the ledge because Yoshi, after he burns his double jump, doesn't really get... Especially after if he's upbeat with his egg before, doesn't get a lot of height with it. And air dodging to the ledge there definitely is... It's risky because Rob can, uh, you know, punish it, but... Like, if he air dodged there, he might have also gotten caught by the side B. But, yeah, he it was going to be a... It was a tricky situation regardless. Yeah, and the super armor broke, right? Like, that's, yeah. that's what happened. Yes, that breaks. So, Yoshi, the way his super armor works now is when he... Um, he basically gets reduced knockback. So whatever knockback is required to break him out of the armor, he gets minus that amount of knockback. Uh, meaning that there are a lot of times where you could just jump into somebody eat their hit and just counterattack with a neutral air. Like, you, you get the knockback, but it's less knockback than would be required. For, like, you, like, you're out of hit stun before they finish their move. It's unsafe on hit. Makes sense. Like an up smash at, like, 
120. <laughs> I'm okay. safe on hit. Yeah. Um, but uh Dustin taking that game one. Um I was liking I was liking Slade um early on in the game. He's getting a lot of good tech chases. Um putting Josh in a lot of uncomfortable situations, but it seems like uh Josh then started to come out of, call out a lot of these jump patterns coming in from Slade. Um a lot of these telegraphed um forwarders, a lot of these telegraphed mares going into Rob and then you know Rob having good and fair tools, good combo tools coming off the jump mares like also yeah. right, putting them in the vortex. So mm -hmm. Uh, like, a big part of this matchup is finding the right zone to be in against Rob, where, you know, Yoshi has fantastic aerial mobility, uh, but Rob has really good range, and he has a lot of ways to threaten from, you know, longer distances, so you gotta find that sweet spot where you're able to punish, you know, as soon as you see him do something wrong, or if you see an opening, you can take it, but you're not too close such that, um, you know, you're gonna get hit. Uh, and that range is kind of where he is right about there, where it's like diagonally up and away. Like too high up to be hit by something like jump forward air, and mm. like something like neutral air would still be kind of just take too long. Yeah. Um, yeah, but right now, um, you see Jaffa been in pretty good control of the game. Um, and Slade's been getting a lot of mileage off of these uh, command grabs. Yeah. Getting a lot of mileage off the command grabs. Well, if you remember in that last game, he lost a few stocks because of the down smash setting the other way. He's living. Um, okay, that he's not going to live through. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like he was like he dash attacked his shield. There were a couple times where he just, you know, uh, and then just shielded and managed to get big punishes. And it's a lot harder to, uh, you know, or that it's just going to be like that, that neutral be incentivizes people to stop doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you know what? It, that works against characters with uh, like lesser recoveries and stuff. But I feel like I feel like right now I feel like you know that mix up doesn't hurt a character like Robin. Yeah, I, you know, it's I'm not sure whether it's uh, like good positioning on Jonathan's part or like a hesitation on uh, Slade's part, but he, Slade isn't quite getting a lot of uh, egg conversions. That was really good. Jab down B is very inconsistent in this game, but uh, I guess he got the right hitbox. Rob has the right size of frame that he was able to connect that. And, um... Did that 20 What? Did that, that downer just 25% from Yoshi? Downer does like 32 or something. Hey, yeah. Whenever he God, connects. You, you know, we get, we get... People get, you know, guys, we get SDI that. You got please. Please, as the eye of the down here, guys. <laughs> Fuck the egg too. That was that was actually really clever. Knowing that um, one of Yoshi's good ways to set up ledge traps is to preemptively throw an egg. So just going past the ledge and uh, the side B was great. Oh my god, that was almost a crazy stock by Slade. Um, getting getting these up up, up air conversions and trying to hit him off the top of the egg, but that's an immediately for tallying with up pressure of his own. And oh my god, no text there. No tech? No chance? Oh, great read on that. Uh, oh, he wanted to go for some grab release shenanigan, but he actually got pushed off of the platform uh, on release, so he wasn't able to get a follow-up, or at least a mix-up, because I'm still pretty sure there's no true follow-up out of Yoshi grab release. Mm. I used to lie and tell people it was a true mix-up, just to, mm. so that they didn't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sound, sound like the bailmate for Smash 4, you feel good about yourself? No, it's not even the bail mains. Yoshi mains literally did that in Brawl. Oh wow. They're just continuing the legacy, you filthy scum. <laughs> Wait, that's actually... They just oh, lied right. about their character's lack of options? Ah. Definitely, I think that was probably a little bit of... Oh! <laughs> that was such a good reaction! That was oh, so good what? for Joshathan! Oh my god. Yo, Devin, can you run that back? Can of you course. run that back for me? Of course. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's hilarious. Yo. Yeah. So normally in that situation, no. down air is uh, down B rather is kind of okay because you can hold it and go right past the plat like past the platform. Also, there's the threat of the shield break, but just being aware of that. Joshathan intercepts with the up smash between the first and second hit, and kablooey. Look at that. Explosion. Uh, 
That's so funny. That was... are, you, are you taking a perverse joy in That's this? Really oh my funny. god. That's that was funny. really good. That was something. Wait, are you admiring the hitboxes? That read, that that read what it was? me, no. bro. That read gave me a library card. Holy, oh my god. I'm admiring how what funny that, that was. was. Wow. Uh, she's okay, going Diddy Kong. I will actually say, I think the Diddy Kong matchup is still probably worse for Yoshi than against Rob. In my opinion. Bro, why are we doing this again? I, it, look, man. Jonathan. I don't want I don't want another guy. Who was doing this? Toby was doing this with his box. Where he was just like, he was up with this Falco and just like, I want to click off. Alright, but it, admittedly this matchup can be very difficult and tricky for Yoshi. Um, one big thing is that Yoshi has to, when he gets a hit, it has to be meaningful because in general, um, Diddy Kong's neutral is just kind of superior. It's really hard for Yoshi to do his air game plan against a character that has banana and has lots of solid frame data. But as we're seeing, that's kind of Slade is doing all right, getting a single hit and managing to do a ton of damage and then finds the up smash. He's looking really good right now. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, Josh then will regret in this Diddy Kong. I don't know. Bro. What is, is he like? Like, oh, for did he has he been playing uh, Diddy Kong in this bracket? Like, uh, I'd like to imagine that every sing after every single time he wins, he goes Diddy Kong and he's not won a single game with Diddy Kong. That's what my guess is. God bless. <laughs> it might be pure speculation on my part, but it's informed speculation. You know, these, these wavelengths coming out from uh, sleep. <laughs> Oh, fantastic read right there, getting with the B reverse egg lay. Yeah, uh, oh, not, using not the pretty, egg. That's a pretty interesting stall, right? Um, I don't know if that was on purpose. But I it think it's honestly like a stalling option that's worse than just falling. <laughs> uh, I still don't know if there's genuinely a situation where egg roll is a good thing to do. Okay, okay, that down. All right, that that's huge right there. Getting the stock because if Diddy Kong continues to struggle to take stocks, especially against a character like Yoshi, it's it, it's honestly the matchup becomes brutal. Um, oh, I love this staying on the platform, realizing yeah. <laughs> that it's really hard for Diddy Kong to effectively you know deal with people if they're playing on that platform well. So that's where he's that's his home now. Yeah, yeah he he's on that platform. Yeah, and especially with the lead. Playing the floor is lava against Diddy Kong with banana in hand is like a pretty good strategy. And because no matter what Diddy Kong is going to do, see, and no matter what Diddy Kong is going to do, right, he's going to want to put on pressure with that banana. Uh, and you have to probably make him commit without his banana after that. So good stuff on Slade, because then Slade punished with an up smash for Diddy Kong trying to get his banana. Oh, that was great max range. Tries to go for the re-grab. Yoshi, the only character in this game with technically a chain grab. It's just that I don't think you'll ever really see it get hit more than twice. Hypothetically, though, I'm pretty sure you could just egg lay into egg lay into egg lay forever. Wobbling. Ban, ban Yoshi. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, and, and it's, it takes like a lot of timing and, you know, trying to predict somebody's match. It's, but, um, it's, it's almost great. impossible to get consistently because of how varied the mash timings are and how precise the spacing of the neutral B has to be. Yeah, my man Jocelyn is bashing. <laughs> but, uh, he just took that stock. Um, a lot closer than you would think. Um, and uh, Jocelyn playing this ground game with Diddy Kong. Uh, and yeah. not, really, not really trying to chase played up on the platform because the one time he did, he exploded for it. So I think he learned his lesson. Yeah. This is this is actually another thing that Yoshi can do against neutral with against Diddy Kong is jump immediately double jump, especially if a platform right there to retreat to, because very much like very few of Diddy Kong's neutral tools break armor, meaning that like you can jump, double jump, and then neutral air, and that can actually net you some really important neutral wins. You know, when they, he just throws the banana, you just eat the banana hit, or like throws out a forward air, and you eat the forward air hit, and counterattack. Yeah, and right now, you're just actually seeing Slade interact a lot more Josh than on the ground. Um, instead of staying on that platform. Oh, that's fantastic spacing. Goes for the Z drop on that banana Ooh. just to limit the recovery options a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he has a jump, though. 
Oh, oh no, he makes it back to stage. I think that um didn't have a jump. What was that? I don't think Josh then knew he didn't have a jump. Oh yeah, no, that's the sort of thing where when Yoshi doesn't have a jump in that sort of position, you you gun it. You try and exploit that fact. Because when Yoshi doesn't have a jump, and I think he even used one of his eggs uh for height already, so he's pretty much forced to air dodge and oh, if you no, hit him yeah. before he can grab ledge, he's dead, he's done. Yeah, one more um one more smash that from either character and either. Nope. Don't even need to smash. Just a well-placed up air is going to take it. But that was admittedly a very close game by the end. But I still think that the... Well, I still think the Rob is probably the way to go for Joshathan. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, he, I mean, he pulled that back a little bit. Um, Just to ill-advised recovery in that situation, honestly. Um, I think I got a little bit overzealous trying to punish that up flip that he saw Slade doing on the stage. Um, yeah, but down the stretch of that game, that game, he, well, he wasn't doing too bad. Um, you, and you saw him abandon that banana a little bit towards the end of that last dock because he, he saw that Slade was camping him and he had no chance of getting that banana confirmed. He's just like, all right, I'm just going to have to fight him. Um, <laughs> you know, me trying to banana camp me is getting me no, no, uh, getting me nowhere, so. So let's see if he's going to stick with the Diddy Kong or he's going to go back to Rob. Three, two, stick with the Diddy Kong. One, go. Yeah, well, we're going to go to PS2 this time. Um, another stage in multiple platforms. Those platforms, they're a little bit less, uh, you know, they're not quite as long, meaning that it's kind of, it's harder to camp uh, Diddy Kong out as effectively because you don't have as much space on the platform to like, you know, just micro space with when you're trying to deal with those approaches. So it definitely, I do think that it is a much better stage for Diddy Kong in that regard. Uh, nonetheless though, oh, Slade looking very strong here. Just getting solid combos, getting good damage and ah, oh, the spacing is really nice, but hey. I think wanted to go for a jab mix-up, but got interrupted by Josh then. Yeah, and um, you know, and I heard you talk about earlier these jab mix-ups, and it seems like you know it's pretty inconsistent. He's been trying to get a, a bunch of these jab mix-ups going, but I, I haven't really seen it do anything um, to fan confirm. But maybe he could condition him into like a jab mix-up until you die. Hey. Um, yeah, he messed up there. Um, I don't think he meant to kick. I, I think he meant yeah. to kick. Yeah. yeah, of course, when Diddy Kong commits to the uh, kick off of side B. Oh, he actually got two of them. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that actually because um, Diddy Kong back air clanked with the egg that extended his hit lag, which meant that possibly he uh, Slade could have gone for an extra punish there. But as it stands, that was solid damage. Cute little ledge guard. And oh, now he has a lead and that lead is growing. Oh, and we finally saw somebody SDI Yoshi down there. That was pretty good stuff. Happy to see. Ooh, okay. And I'm surprised. Right under, that, um, under that command grab by Yoshi. No, no, I think he went for neutral air, actually. I think he managed to outspace Yoshi neutral air, which is, that's impressive. Nice, nice whip punish coming from uh, Josh. And again, good show of patience. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Suspension. Okay. I'm. I'm telling you, best disadvantage in the game. Yeah. Um. This advantage stage is pretty good, but he still is a big target, and Jonathan right now, um, is hitting almost everything. Yeah. He got that early percent, that early string by Jonathan trying to match that up the ground, and now he's pretty much. Yeah. yeah. But and he's actually doing a little bit of what I was talking about beforehand, where he's going for these very low double jumps, trying to exploit his double armor to uh, find an opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you know what? And that might be actually be um, telegraphing a bit and helping Josh then punch a little bit harder. Well, he hasn't been able to exploit those double jumps in general. Oh, oh no! Oh yeah, he's recovering. <laughs> Best disadvantage in the game. Oh, that might be it though. Oh, 
Ends up going for the forward air, not able to close out the stock. And I like that second egg going to the platform. And clearly, um, Justin wasn't quite expecting that. But 136%, this is the point where you do have to be really scared of Diddy Kong, especially when he has a banana in hand, because one tiny slip up can lead to all of this damage and eventually the stock. And, an, and another whiff punish on that uh, neutral B coming out from Yoshi. So it seems like he's, he's been getting a pretty good space and pretty good grasp on how he likes to space that neutral B. Um, but. Shade, uh, catching the air dodge into legend, like taking that spot. Now we have a dead even game. Again, in play, uh, and, and platform's pretty hard right now. Oh, I don't know if he was, I think he was going for a, because that's actually a situation where Yoshi can get a lot of damage off of that Jabber set of F tilt. Um, maybe he was going for some very cheeky uh, combo extension, but I think there was some guaranteed damage that he ended up not being able to get. <gasps> now, one thing is that Yoshi neutral air is, can be really good against uh, recovering Diddy Kong, just because of how long it lasts. And actually, if you hit Diddy Kong with a very weak move out of his barrels, it uh, right, it still he still has that effect. <gasps> okay, great. That's another. That is one really good thing for Yoshi on the stage. With the right spacing, his up smash covers every single option. Except for wait forever and then time your neutral get up. That actually hit behind him. Oh yeah, no, it covers the whole platform. Wow. The bicycle sure. kick. Yeah, so in that situation, the only answer is you lay on the platform and try to react to the up smash or predict when the up smash is going to come and time a neutral get up. Yeah, probably to do or do a get up attack. Uh, no, get up attack. He, he'll he just wait for it and then hit you. No, I'm saying, the, I'm what? I'm attack. no I'm saying uh, time out to get up attack. Oh, um, Yoshi's legs are intangible when he does his uh, up smash, so I don't even think the get up attack would. Uh, I think you would just lose in the get up attack, or at the very least, it wouldn't actually hit the get up attack mm. scenario. Ready? Wow, didn't know that. Good to um, know. I'm sorry, are we getting a correction for uh, the name pronunciation? Uh, if we could get this confirmed, is it is it pronounced Slade? Slade? It's not Slade. Uh, no, I, I mean, come on, best, best DC villain, but, I mean, depends on how uh, he wants it pronounced. Oh, Sade, it's Slade. It's Sade? Okay. No, it, no, it's Slade, it's pronounced like Sade, like the artist, but his name is Slade. Not oh, Slade, okay. All right, so, apologize for the, um, mispronunciations before this. But anyway, we're having the Rob back as I think that's definitely the right call. Diddy Kong wasn't working out. Um, it wasn't doing that badly, but he's down two, uh, or rather it's two to two. So he needs to be, um, uh, he needs to close this out. Yeah, and, and once again, um, this, this can be a situation where Josh then gives another, uh, another character, another player, an opportunity for some momentum. Um, and, uh, I come back to mind him, because even though the Diddy Kong wasn't a bad pick, he was actually in position to win both of those games. Right now, you're in a game five situation where you're up to with the up. And now down again. Oh, yeah, if he had positioned that up tilt a little bit closer, that could have been a huge amount of damage. Uh, ooh, but as it stands, he's still doing all right. Oh, the egg roll, as Sakurai intended. Oh. But I, I will say, Egg Roll can do a ton of damage. It's just bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's one of those, like, no mix up, mix up. Um, update, though. Um, it's not pronounced Slade. Um, he was just messing around. Oh. All right, so it is Slade. Well. Oh, that was yeah, so good. And, yeah, and, and actually... right now, and see, and that's what I'm talking about right now. Look, you're down three socks to one. I, I don't want to dwell on, he went for the walk. He got jab, walk forward jab to bring him closer to the edge of the stage. I actually don't think forward smash would have killed if he didn't do that. So that was fantastic oh, awareness. No. Great planning oh, no. on a... 
Oh, oh, yeah. that's what he was gonna go for. Okay. Uh, it, it's not real. <laughs> I know it's don't, not real. Don't worry, it's not real. <laughs> Interesting. In that in that situation, all you have to do is hold shield because he cannot re grab you. Um, he can't even regard with neutral base. Um, and then if he goes for down B, which is the shield break option, we've already seen he can just up smash with good timing and counter attack. Yeah, so. This is not good right now for Josh. Oh. Yeah, right, and right now Justin at 113% played, still on his second stock, only at 7%. And Jonathan yep. needs to take this stuff right. Yeah. He cannot take any more percent right now. Oh, that was cute. I think maybe he could have gone for an up smash in that situation, given the fact that uh, <coughs> the jab connected while uh, Josh, 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 Jonathan was still in the air. Um, oh, I'm liking this pressure. I like how he's following through with the eggs. That was something that he wasn't quite doing earlier on in the uh, oh, game. No. Oh, and there it is. Just fantastic. Oh, no. Reading the tech option. And that's that's it. Uh, Slade taking advantage of the fact that Joshathen was messing around a bit with Diddy Kong. And he's the one who moves on to uh, lose his finals. Karma's yeah, and second set in a row where Joshathen going for this Diddy Kong pick. And I, you know, he might just be working on the Diddy Kong. And, you know, say like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm up. Let me try it out, but man, um, sometimes you just give people momentum, and this is the second time. Even with the, even with against Moosh, Moosh almost took it, took it from him in game five too. So, karma. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's not karma. Maybe he's just trying to too cocky with uh, too cocky for his uh, confidence with his Rob. He was just like when he lost uh, his day. He's like, doesn't matter. If I go to game five, I'll just go Rob and win. Well. Wow! It's just fun. Mm -hmm. yeah.